All right, everybody. Hi, welcome. You might have saw us <laughs> early there. There was some adjustments going on, uh, briefly. But uh, welcome, welcome to Children of Wrath, the uh, Dungeon and Dragons game set in the Magic the Gathering uh, world of Dominaria. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Uh, our amazing cast of characters have been on some adventures, and uh, they're going on a new one today, resolving the old one, uh, having visited the island of Vesuva. Gotten some gifts. Now they're heading back to Urvada, uh, the city, not the country, though technically they're both, uh, with the hope of getting a submersible into the Voda Sea. Urvada, Urvada, they named it so. It's so nice. They <laughs> named it twice. <laughs> it kind of did. They pulled a New York on us, bastards. <laughs> anyway, why don't we have our go round? Uh, today we do not have Wintress with us. Uh, she is here in spirit and tormenting others, technically, but that's besides the point. Uh, but we do have Claude, and Joe has Claude. Yes, I'm passed out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm probably having some battles with my inner demons, literally. Fun times. And of course, Lee has Max. <laughs> hey, that's me. I'm Max. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. and then, I made uh, friends with a severed hand. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, uh, <coughs> Fish as Kazarin. Hi. I got a cool stick last time, and I'm really digging it. It's <laughs> a great way of describing it. <laughs> and, of course, Mads as, uh, Carrion. Yeah, now I'm carrying the whole party, but mostly just fucking Claude. <laughs> also, I can turn invisible, and I'm super excited. Well, you could make me dance like a puppet then. Oh my god. No. Possibilities. <laughs> you go invisible to stop carry him up and like have a bit like, oh, like, like, <laughs> That's how you wake up. It's like there's just someone invisible holding you up. <laughs> you're just like swinging your arms occasionally as your legs dangle. <laughs> I, I'm oh, just afraid that I may be shape shifting <sighs> during this time. You're going to be so confused when you wake up and all we have all these cool new stuff. <laughs> well, I won't be able to know much unless, with Max unless he uses his voice. Mm -hmm. Tongue voice. Or his tongue, tongue voice. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> I just right. see your tongue now developing a pair of lips. Oh, oh god, no. Oh. Not a fan of that. That's too much. Bad. <laughs> hey, you can play the Ordnan. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Ordnan. 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 Everyone wants to play the Ordnan. That's the, the best NPC. <laughs> uh, so, upon completion of your quest here, uh, you are escorted away from the Queen's Chamber, back down into the main area. Um, the guard that was with you uh, kind of addresses you. You wish to stay here for longer. We can find some quarters you can stay. Otherwise... I can escort you to the edges of the city once more. I believe we have another day and a half before our ship arrives. I mean, he's heavy, but I can carry him all the way back. <clears throat> uh, up to you folks if you want to make, if we want to make camp at the shore waiting or, or stay in one of these places here. I don't know, this place seems strange already, but... Personally, it, I think it might be a better idea to stay inside of an established city rather than, um, you know, <coughs> the side of the road where those weird squirrel things could attack again. At least now we know they're tasty. True. <sighs> I'll leave it up to you guys. All I have to do is carry this big ass. Um, well, I mean, Claude makes a point. If we want to. I mean, Catherine makes a point, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I make a point. Basically the same person, right? <laughs> uh, Three of the player characters have, like, that K sound at the beginning of their name. Yeah. Claude makes a point. 
Claude, Carrion, and Kazrin. It's all the same <laughs> sound. Anyway, Kazrin does make a point. Um, uh, do you know of a place we could stay? Follow me. <laughs> uh, the the armored soldier will take you back out into the main thoroughfare and to a building that seems to be near to the uh, central, what you can almost guess is like palace, government building. It was kind of hard to tell as the queen was there, but it's also like that training area for, it seems for shape changers. <clears throat> Um, inside, uh, you will see a, uh, incredibly, uh, handsome man. Um, actually, Harry, you can give me history. Claude oh, Maxwell, you could with disadvantage if you want to roll it. I'm unconscious. Okay. I keep forgetting. Mm hmm uh, it's man, <laughs> I'm dumb. You don't want me to roll. Okay, I'll roll. Uh, what you said, history? Yes. With the disadvantage. Oh, well, you rolled a nine, so that's fine. You could not. You could. You, you could roll worse, which doesn't help you. So I'm just gonna accept that nine. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, Carrie, the man looks familiar. You swear you've seen him somewhere before, like in a textbook somewhere, like an image of him. Or maybe in a, like, uh, displayed somewhere. Uh, you ended up on... Oh, God. I'm trying to forget names of things already. Let me open up my map, because I forgot to do that. I believe we said that you ended up on... Arona, right? After I work. didn't write it down, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm now writing it down. The continent of it. Uh, the same one that... That's where we... I think we decided you found Wintress, because uh, Wintress is from Arona. Yeah. You know, so... That's where your family ended up. Yes, and there is iconography. You swear you've seen iconography of this man. You can't remember who he is, because you probably... Since you haven't grown up in the area. But you do know that there is... You swear it looks exa exactly like them. So either it is the person or someone that looks surprising like it. But again, then, you're in a place of clones and illusions. So take your word for it. Ah, hmm. welcome to my establishment. Please, please, sit down. Um, we don't get many... Any visitors. A few of the locals stop by. I'm guessing you need some rooms. Um, he'll kind of nod to the guard as the guard will leave you then. Um, the guard will <laughs> quickly kind of state as he turns, I will return tomorrow at this time to escort you out of the city. It works. <clears throat> so, how are you enjoying your stay in Vesuva? It's about as frightening as I imagined. I'm just gonna toss Claude onto a chair and just kind of prop him up and just be like... <laughs> I mean, it's a mixed <laughs> bag, him. mostly. I mean, there was some good, some bad. Pretty average vacation, I would say. <laughs> well, hopefully I can make your stay a little better. Um... Uh, um, perhaps I should introduce myself. Uh, Gerald. Sorry. <laughs> We're waiting for you to say that. I am Kazran. Karen, this is Claude. Our surprisingly quiet friend is Maxwell. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting used to this new tongue. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very strange experience. I'm normally much more talkative. Oh, and, uh... Radiant. My brain suddenly went valiant, and I was like, nope, that's radiant.
Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Um. Nice to meet you. Uh, she's gonna sit down. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> welcome. Uh, uh, this is my tavern. Uh, the Weatherlight. Um, named after uh, my likeness. Well, in a way. <laughs> Listen, Carrie's just gonna be staring. Like. Anyway, um, can I get you something? Drinks? Uh, I believe we some fresh wine. Um, wine seems to be the big thing around here for most people that get drinking done. So, <clears throat> do have some wine? Um, I could prepare for some food. Um. I normally order a few things in. Um, I haven't made anything yet, but uh, I could get uh, something prepared. Uh, we did get some fresh uh, chameleon in. Hmm. Chameleon, you say? Didn't we fight one of those? Possibly. Like Large oh. hunters uh, tend to patrol the wastelands. Oh. <laughs> I kind of looked toward the party when I asked that. I wasn't there for that. I just remember the squirrel things. Listen, I've been very, very high most of this time. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I've been a little high. So where do you hail from? As he's like... Uh, he'll prepare some drinks for you, like uh, g uh, glasses of wine, and he'll kind of go in the back in this, like, uh, you can see that it's kind of got an open thing to the kitchen, uh, like it's kind of open window, because uh, it looks like he's pretty much the only one there, so he can kind of see out into the uh, bar proper. And then he, um, it's got a display of various, like, wine bottles. Uh, he goes to, like, a um, barrel and, with, like, a tap on it, like a, a wine tap, I guess, which is kind of unusual, but not Im not can be seen. Most of the time it's ale for something like a big barrel like that. <coughs> but he went for just the general stuff. Well, if you're asking about where we came from, like, to get here... Well, I assume you came from, uh, Nevada, the Empire. Yeah. And that's most of the time people come, they come from there. Question, how many of those people survive? What do you mean, what people? Like the people that come from Arada. Don't know. Um, we rarely get visitors. Probably a couple times a year, people manage to get in here. Um, I don't know how many yeah, time people attempt to get here. Since the destruction, things are not great for traveling in here. Uh, it's been about, um, oh, maybe a hundred years of uh, badness around the area. I mean, for the last uh, 30, things have been pretty good around this area. Since the uh, Queen brought us all back together. It's a very strange one, that one. She's an interesting one. Um, a lot of things uh, that have happened around here, and we're glad to be... Back on the mend. I mean, technically, we have had some uh, problems for quite a while. But anyway, uh, here you go. Uh, it looks like he'll like be chopping up some like roast of something into like steaks and like cooking them up. You can see in the back. <coughs> And uh, he'll bring like these like big plates of like uh, steaks and some like uh, looks like uh, some kind of root vegetable mash, uh, kind of like a very hearty mash on the side. Sorry, I'm not a expert cook. Hopefully, it'll be okay. Better than what she could scaven. Yeah, I've eaten rats before. Uh, I'll take cooked food. Hmm. Kaz remember that you would eat, you would eat the rats, wouldn't you? I've I've eaten plenty of rats in my time. I've also eaten. Does it count as cooked if it's just a lizard that fell on the really really hot rock and then it's seared a little bit? 
No, because it probably didn't cook for... It didn't, you're right. I'm from Shiv, if that clears up why I said that. <laughs> well, um, never been, so, uh, neat. <laughs> it's a very Not... unique place to go to. Yeah, That's the best compliment you can give it. Very true, yeah, yeah, yes. I originally hailed from, I guess you could say, Urborg? A same. Ah. Yeah. I, uh... I feel like I'm fated to go there one day. Interesting. How is it? How has oh, it changed I... much in the, past, in the past years? Oh, I don't know. I left it a long time ago. Uh, if it wasn't for... I'm not... I can't change form. I'm stuck how I am. Um, it wasn't until the who I mimicked passed away that I found myself uh, with some free will. Interesting. Um, like, some people say they meet their selves in the fog, right? I'm kind of like that. Except I was uh, trapped. Wasn't killed. Trapped for a period of time. I don't know how long. Then uh, who I mimicked got killed and it's just me then. Oh my. Yeah. Interesting thing. When uh, the purpose for your existence kind of disappears, but you don't. So, stuck in this form. Can't really go into the world. Um, apparently, hence, uh, don't know if you've ever heard of the weather light. I'm, uh, mimicked after one of its famous crew members. Hero of ancient days. Something like 300 years ago. Impressive. Oh, yeah. That's why I recognized you. Yeah. Unfortunately, means you can't really go out in public places, most places. Um, granted, less recognition nowadays, but, uh... The entire thing of, like, you were an evil clone created to kill our great hero doesn't uh, sit well with people, if you try to explain it that way. I just put on a mask and a hood. Works for some people. <laughs> ah, Pointedly prefer... not looking at Maxwell. <laughs> <coughs> I prefer it here. I fold my arms as I hear that comment. <laughs> well, I, I found it very good here. Um, finding a, um, finding yourself, almost, in this place. Though I can't change forms, I am similar to their abilities. A creation. An identical uh, twin, if you will. But without any of the memories. Without many memories. But nope, I found myself here. After everything was said and done. Uh, wandered around for a while. Um, unfortunately, I uh, found myself in Orvada for a lot of the destruction of Asuva. Um, and when the queen brought us all back, I was able to come out of hiding. I think that's, I had my time as a masked hooded figure. I like it where I can be out in the open here and make a little joke about my own expense. It's kind of pointing to his sign outside, you think, you know. <laughs> uh, it helps to be able to joke. It does. More wine? Yes. <coughs> Yeah, poor sub. Uh, do you want anything? Uh, you haven't, like, touched anything, Maxwell. Have you done anything with your food? He's, he's served you. Uh, I, I offer it to someone else. <laughs> Are you hungry at all? No, I don't quite eat much. Uh, I kind of remove my glove and show him some of my bone. Oh. You got some interesting, uh, problems there. Well, I yeah, you, you, you get used to it after a while. <laughs> Anyway, they dropped my bowl. Last time I dropped it, I got a black hole. <laughs> well, um... If you need anything else, just let me know. I'm just hanging around here. Will do. It's been a pleasure to be in your company. Hmm. So, what's the plan right now? You can enjoy some food. Uh, you are fairly certain there's a steak from that large thing that tried to eat you carrion. Oh, the squirrel thing? Oh, the, the monster no. with the squirrel tongue, yeah. Yes, I am eating all of it with fury, <clears throat> fur ferocity. No? I don't know. Ferocity, yeah. Is it ferocity? Good. Uh, and then if Max is just giving his plate up, I'd probably steal half of it and give half of it to Cass. Yeah, I would eat that. <laughs> and then I'm going to just continually poke Claude to see if he'll wake up. Uh, 
Claude's still asleep. You're just poking him for a while. Oh, yeah, like... no. I don't expect him to wake up. I'm just poking him now for the first <laughs> I look at Carrion and say, throughout all my travels, he has, is, and always will be a heavy sleeper. Mm -hmm. Well, then I can just poke him more. And I poke him more. <laughs> Would you like to be poked while you were asleep? I have, like, six siblings. Okay. I've been poked well, while I was asleep. That Hello. doesn't apply to, to Claude. I, I would appreciate it if you don't poke my friend that much while he's sleeping. I poke him again. Smack her hand away. <laughs> as I'm starting to lose my patience. <laughs> you wanna try me? How about we don't start a tavern fright with our friends? <laughs> a tavern that's been in for all of 20 minutes. I, I agree, Catherine. Have you what? ever been in a tavern fight? But they are very fun. They are. I will agree to that. Like, it's been a long day. You know? Yeah, I, I'm Maybe. tired and weary. I just want to rest. You don't sleep. I meditate. And for <laughs> me, that's the equivalent of sleeping. Sometimes all one needs to do is to rest in their own thoughts. Carrie's just gonna fighting. start mumbling about like weird hippie mumbo jumbo. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you can all finish your food, and uh, you'll be shown to some basic rooms. Uh, they are de actually really nice rooms. Uh, they, you know, they seem in decent shape. Just look like they're very little use is done to them. So. I want to get as drunk as possible before I go to sleep. Okay. You can do that. Nice. I'm uh, actually going to go ahead and... I'm drunk! You are drunk. Congratulations. Alright. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just want to get drunk. But also, I'm just going to throw Claude into a bed, cover him up very nicely, pat his head, and then leave. Mm -hmm. All right. And then poke him one more time, and then leave. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, all right. So. Uh, itch, 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 itch. I have an itch on the back, and I gotta itch it. Ah, okay, we're good. Beautiful song. <laughs> It just happened. It's still there. Damn it. It's a different spot. You know, it's like you started itching. All right. Uh, so you can spend the evening here. I mean, it was later in the day. Uh, is there anything you want to do while here or just want to relax until the guards come back? I think mostly relax. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, chill out. Yeah. That's fine. Recover, recover from almost dying like four times. Mm -hmm. I'm getting stuck in a maze for nine hours. Mm hmm. Hiding ourselves. Why didn't my clone just want to kiss me? That's rude. <laughs> it would have made for an easier clone encounter. Alright, uh, so you'll enjoy your relaxing time, and eventually, though, um, you know, you'll probably meet with your, uh, coast a couple of times, have some breakfast, some lunch, you know, he'll put together some meals for you. They're okay. He's, he's definitely, as you just said, he's not really, like, a great cook, but he's a decent cook, so he can put some things together that are okay. And eventually, though, the guard will come back and, uh, say, you wish to get you a boat. I would leave with us now. I will escort you to the gates. Is Claude awake? Um, no. I'm gonna sigh heavily and go and grab him and just lug him over my shoulder. <laughs> like a sack of potatoes. Yep. You're a potato sack. I'm sorry, Claude. That's what you get for poking me. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You realize that now I'm just poking you continuously while we're walking. Wait till you sleep next. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded horrifically ominous. Yeah. <laughs> Some you, don't of that. you don't even know that I'm poking you. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm going to become. <laughs> what does that mean? Who's to say I can't tell Claude when he wakes up? Yeah, Claude has kind of been like almost like mildly shifting forms into random things a lot the entire time. Suddenly, <laughs> like the weight gets a lot lighter, and I'm like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh god. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god. <clears throat> this is the reason that I'm poking you. It's from annoyance. Mm hmm. <laughs> what I do when I'm catatonic, I cannot control. <laughs> no, but I can still blame you. Just hope I don't release my bowels. Oh God! <laughs> Why? Why is you that even? Well, I, well, I have been passed out for how long now? <laughs> Shifting into something really without a shit. digestive system. God. Luckily, I don't eat often. What a relief. Alright, uh, it will be much easier to travel back to the boat, or at least the area the boat's supposed to be coming in. Um, it seems as though that the area itself uh, protects itself more going in. Though once you get into those twisted alleyways where you fought the creature before, it's as creepy as it is before, and occasionally you can hear that <laughs> from nearby. God. Not that scream again. We've heard w that one too many times. I want to eat it. <laughs> I want to eat it last time. I want to eat it raw. I kind of also want to eat it raw. <laughs> you, you say that now, Kazarin, but had you known the context of where that scream came from, you may be singing a different tune. Probably right. I'm astounded Carrion still feels the same about uh, that said scream with her sense of whimsy. Alright, so maybe we just ignore I'm literally it. literally part demon. I also have no sense of self-worth. I'm just I'm... the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the part where, like, Catherine breaks into musical. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't easy being a goblin. <laughs> I could just sing, it ain't easy being green. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Is the boat there when we get there? Uh, no. It's Crazy old there. man. I thought the goblins were more reddish. Eh. Every goblin's like green in my, my eyes. Some of them are green, some of them are gray, some of them are red. Then there's mogs, which are like a pink. And then if you're colorblind. <laughs> There's a pink goblin? No, no, like skin tone pink. Oh. Yeah. Huh. And so I would describe Kazarin as like uh, probably more like a, a lighter green. Uh, There's probably darker yeah. green ones. Because, uh, you know, he, he's a shivan uh, goblin. And they bred the mogs to make them bigger, tougher. Technically, they they kept their like general intelligence. Strangely enough, smarter, which is kind of a weird thing, you know, because mogs were dumber than your average goblin, but somehow yeah. breeding the two together made smarter. <laughs> How it worked? <laughs> Darwinism. Dumb plus dumb equals smart. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two dumbs make a smart. So, yeah. It's like how three lefts make a right. It just works. <laughs> it just works. Alright, Todd, how are you? <clears throat> how dare you? You can wait around for a while. Todd Howard. And eventually, though, you'll see a shape coming through the uh, shadows of the fog around the island. Is that you, crazy old man? Ah, shucks, you're not dead! <laughs> ah, you don't get to eat our bone. Is he dead? Can I eat him? No. no. Hmm. Are you sure? Yes. 
believe it or not, he is alive, just a very heavy sleeper. Are you so gonna eat us? Or are you just gonna, you know, lift the. I guess back. we can go. Come on! Hey. Alright. Hey, could... <laughs> we get on the boat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll start, no. I'll start yeah, let's go hustle. Back. We've just been sitting here, like, picking our nose. <laughs> can I try fishing on the on this tiny boat? <laughs> sure. Woo! Is that a survival check, right? Yes. Right. Listen, I got the fishing gear for a reason. I'm gonna use it every chance I get. <laughs> mm -hmm. Twelve. Is that like a guppy or something? Okay. Um. So you'll be fishing for a little bit, and uh, the old man will be like, "I'd be careful if I were you." <laughs> Okay, I'm immediately gonna reel in as soon as he says that. As I don't then, like, something fucker. very large moves just under the boat where your fishing bait was. was. Yeah, shit goes right into. No, uh uh. <laughs> I ain't risked shit. Uh huh. Some, like, boat sized fish went under you there. Alright. We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, too bad. Too bad. You realize if, if that had eaten me, then you couldn't eat me. Oh, it's all right. It'll spit up you when it's done digesting most of you. I can suck Terrible. the marrows out of your bone. Oh, I'm not going to die to some fucking fish. That's not how I'm going to die. As you see, like... Uh, he'll, like, he'll, like, take out, like, with one hand he'll still, like, be rowing, and with the other hand he'll take out what looks to be something's femur bone? And, like, oh. bite it open, kind of, like, oh. put the other part in, take the other half, and go... <laughs> ah, marrow! I, uh, I kind of, I wince very, <laughs> very sharply <laughs> at, at this, and I, like, I, 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 like, hold myself, like, so... Uh, so then start, like, chewing on it with his eight teeth for a little bit here. What convinces a man to eat bone? I like the marrow inside. And then I chew on it to keep my teeth strong. I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, there's good... Marrow's pretty good. I fold my arms and I still stand a little bit further away from him. <laughs> that, that doesn't mean we're gonna eat you, but... Kazran did bring up an interesting point. How are we all gonna die? How do you think that you're going to die? Oh, I don't intend on dying ever. Does this have something to do with the fact that you want me to cut off your arm eventually? Yes. Okay. I'm eventually going to replace every part of my body with machinery and live forever. It'll be excellent. Hmm. I already have plans for lungs. A living golem, you say? Interesting. I'd like to see one of those. Can't eat it. But I wonder how well it would sink. Very well. Well, well if you didn't have lungs, you wouldn't need to breathe. <laughs> That's the, you say, yes, correct. <coughs> would no longer need to... <coughs> or I could breathe anywhere. I haven't finalized the designs yet. What about you, Max? How are you gonna die? I think you're asking the wrong person, Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be asking myself because I'll kill you eventually? You'll kill me eventually? How are you gonna die, Kieran? I'd probably making jokes like that. <laughs> Why do you ask such a heavy handed question? I'm thinking about death again. I seek to regain my life rather than think about losing it once more. But if you regain your life, you're gonna die again eventually. I'm not going to think about that. <laughs> I've suffered long enough, and the last thing I need is to be reminded of my own mortality. 
What if we bury you in a box? What if we what? <laughs> what if we bury you in a box? Uh, that, that's as far as I got. I don't know how I would want to die, but all I would want is to be buried along with in my ancestor's tomb. That's a fair thing to want. That's a good thing to want. There's honor amongst merchants. I've never met an honest merchant. <laughs> what? <laughs> honor amongst merchants. Not necessarily honor from merchants to cast. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> um, Maxwell, oh. wouldn't there be a problem finding your ancestor's tomb, though? Oh, I already know where that is. That's the one thing I've kept near and dear to my to my my heart, <laughs> or lack thereof. That's like a hundred year quest you did to find that man. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> yes, because th there was a literal planar overlay, where the plane where your tomb was merged with Dominaria. It could have ah. ended up anywhere. Okay, I, well, I I, I I didn't remember that part because that, that wasn't I the part say, that I wrote. That that was the part that uh, you you got you that did after. That could have been what some story. of the stuff you were doing for like the hundred, two hundred okay. years, you know, for a while. Okay. Is finding your ancestor's tomb. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. I didn't know that part, but I, I get what you mean now. I will let you know where it's at because it is an unusual place in comparison to everything else. Okay. California. Uh, <laughs> that sounds right. Yes, it's in California. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right on the beach. Mm-hmm. Beautiful location. <clears throat> ah! All right, get off my boat. As you kind of come to shore. <laughs> All right. Let's never do this again. Oh, are you sure? Next time you might actually die. Uh, again, I'm I... I'm not dying I, on that island. Again, I'm never going to die. Never. I will be eternal. If you don't die before you get all your work done. Oh, I didn't think... Oh, I mean... <laughs> if I lose a limb, then I'll just replace it and be that much closer to the goal. But you, you, what if you lose your head? I'll replace <laughs> You can't replace your head. I can try. <laughs> your quest for immortality makes me concerned, Kasran. As someone who's lived through it, I, I urge you to, to rethink your... Your your quest. Well, here's here's how I figured. Where we are now is so much farther than where we were a thousand years ago. In terms of like <coughs> capability to make. I want to be around to see how capable we get a thousand years from now, and I'll just keep building. In the game. I just hope for, for your sake, that your future self still remembers the enthusiasm from now. I hope so. Although I'll probably make like an off switch. Mm -hmm. I mean, Karen, I do... you can realize that there has been a very like cyclical technological uh, thing going on in Dominaria. That yes, the last thousand years have improved. But there totally was an advanced civilization like 10,000 years ago. And then followed by like a civilization that was fairly advanced like 3,000 years after that. You know, things like that. I'm not going to ruin Kaz's dreams. <laughs> no, I'm just going to make I the next that for Maxwell. I mean, I'm going to make oh the my. next group. <laughs> there was the one that got died by horrible plague caused by Phyrexians and, and poisoned by Power Stones. And then there was the one where there was a d giant uh, explosion that destroyed an entire continent, driving the entire world into a permanent ice age for thousands upon thousands of years. And, so it was uh, a temporary ice age. Which uh, is really long. It required powerful magic to fix it. Still ended. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it ended through internal, external sources. I'm just saying. Dominaria, really awful history when it comes to civilization. <laughs> well, I'm essentially, Kazran's going to invent Warforge and make himself a Warforge. 
uh -huh. and be immune to all those diseases that keep wiping out civilization. D diseases and various apocalypses. Yeah, I'll just keep living. <laughs> anyway. But what if you get too cold? I'll turn off my temperature sensor. I'm a robot. You would, you would still freeze, though. Metal freeze. <laughs> I'll be frozen. It's fine. I'll go insane. It happens. <laughs> I'll go He's already there. It's fine. It's fine. He'll be mostly crazy. That's yeah, fine. All right. Uh, well, you can enjoy your trip back uh, to Orvada proper. Uh, the trip back to the city, um, not too difficult. Um, you will get back in time for when you were supposed to meet with, uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Irun, Irun, Irun Vance, and, uh, talk about using his submersible. Am I still passed out? Uh, no, you will wake up by now. <laughs> Yay! Does he wake up on my shoulder? Yes. <laughs> are you Why feeling Claude? Are you carrying me? I immediately throw you to the ground. Wow. I've been carrying your ass for so long. And why does my side hurt? Feels like someone's been poking me. I was also doing that. <laughs> Honest. <coughs> no one ever said it wasn't honest. Hold on a second. Do I land on my feet? Uh, sure. <laughs> you pop off, land on your feet. It looks not impressive, but you're, you know, fine. It wasn't really like a difficult fall, so... I know, but I just, I wanted to at least land somewhat graceful. <laughs> you wanted to, like, just get off of her and... Like, land gracefully so it looks not, uh... Awful. Like I was just tossed. <laughs> what form are you in? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> okay. You are currently... Ooh. Uh... Uh, give me a second here. Finally gonna be the goblin. Are we finally gonna have two goblins in the party? Well, I may have new forms. Oh, it's true. Oh. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. You are... Ugh. <laughs> I'm a caveman. <laughs> You're just normal Claude. <laughs> uh. You're... Some kind of unusual creature. No one recognizes what the hell you are. Can I at least look at my hands? Uh, sure. So you do have hands. That's a good start. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've got kind of clawed hands, and you look almost like you're made of like, um. <clears throat> You kind of like have this like uh like this row of eyes, like a fanged mouth. You're like barely humanoid right now, you kind of shift into. You feel strange because like your body also makes it looks like it's made out of like it's kind of almost got like a stone outer shell to it too. Like or like a hard outer shell. What happened to me? Oh no, you've been asleep for a long time. The weird queen lady gave us a bunch of cool shit, like, uh, I can do this, and I turn invisible. I got- Maxwell's tongue is stronger. I got a rod. A, a metal rod. Why do we keep talking about the strength of my tongue? Because it's hilarious. I'm sure it is. Having a steel tongue is very prestigious. <laughs> Just be careful Silver. around the ladies. Or the men. I don't or know which one to. You know? I was married at some point. <laughs> you can be bisexual! <laughs> also, you didn't, we didn't define how you, what kind of uh, relationship you were married in. Uh, your culture could have been like, um, didn't really care. 
Also, I like wrote down Claude's the name of my, always, uh, my spouse, but I male. don't think I ever brought her up. Yeah, Claude's not always a male. Mm -hmm. You fuck do not know what gender you are now. You cannot tell. Oh, <laughs> can I sex myself? Well, pelvic bones are. A thing, are they not? Uh, whatever you are doesn't seem to have a gender. Yeah. Okay. Again, you seem, you seem vaguely humanoid right now. Someone have a mirror. Um. Oh, 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 ah! What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Wait, Don't is worry that, about. Who, who is it? <laughs> they, so, that. Random. You're on a road uh, heading into Ravana. Like another traveler just goes around and comes around a corner and sees you <laughs> and panics. <laughs> you're very rude. This what is our friend. Is <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, we're testing out makeup. Give us is a he, break. What? Is he okay? Yes. Wait, what, what form is he? Is he naked? What's going on? He's a monster. I'm some kind of monstrosity. Yeah. I, I tap Cloud. Uh, or Claude. Cloud. It, I, uh, he, he's like a hard chitinous cat, like, outer shell around his body. That looks like almost like like stone with spikes and stuff kind of out it. It looks like it's pretty cool looking. Like, it looks very monstery. And as I said, he's got like these like kind of like row of eyes. So it's more than just, it's like five of them. And then like a fanged mouth. It gives him kind of very weird, like, kind of, like, monstery smile. That, like, when he talks to you, it's like, you know, this is, like, you know, like, um, like, uh, like, this pointy teeth are, like, coming out, you know? It's, it's all, like, it's like, hey there, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Can you change back? I tried to change to my normal self. You can. Okay. There you go. Same person that yelled at us randomly in the street that was very it, rude. They very probably rude. ran away. <laughs> you are very, ran away. Very rude. What? <clears throat> so rude. You know, just walk up to a random person you see and shout at them. That makes sense. Come on. But hey, Catherine, uh, we're you, not the weirdest things they've seen. You do oh, feel nice. like changing back from that caused a lot of effort, though. It was very difficult to do. Like, as soon as you're back, though, you feel relieved as if, like, you're, like, in a normal form, it's very easy to switch between them, the forms you know. But, like, whatever that form is, it seems like it's very difficult to achieve. But possible. Lovely. You'll have to tell me what I look like later. That was not comfortable. Well, then I thought don't do it again. I thought you looked cool. I was just glad not to be the weirdest thing on the street. Well, I could always change my other form, but we could be companions. Yeah, but Goodberry is scared of that form. She's just like, she's just like, wah, wah. She's still just <laughs> doing something with her, like, oh, she's just like using it randomly. <laughs> she has been so distracted with it, just like throwing it out there, like, and then like stretching it out and like practicing, you know, <laughs> so she can throw it farther. <clears throat> well, someone's happy. A lot of us are happy. I can turn invisible. Kazran has cool Big shit. Big piece of metal, and I'm gonna figure out how it works. And what's up with your tongue? It's stronger. <laughs> A very capable tongue. Apparently it's been stronger than he knows. Could do a lot with that tongue. Wintress was screaming her hook. <laughs> <laughs> Max, what's going on with your tongue? I've just become the butt of every joke with my newfound ability. Claude, I believe you were asleep when I was granted my new gift. Um, the last thing I remember was walking into my metal self. Well, uh, here's an example of, of said power. I, I start speaking like Claude. <laughs> So I've become a parrot, my make, friend. You can make fun of people. Excellent. Yes. It's great. It's everything I've ever wanted. Please don't do that to someone we're trying to have a conversation with. I won't. Not off. unless not, not unless there's a means of it being useful. We could from like a parlor trick. Could like turn it into like a satirical entertainment thing to play at bars to get money.
You don't know how to throw your voice, do you? How to what? Throw your voice. Can't say I do. I haven't heard of that term. You know, like, like a ventriloquist dummy. Like with a puppet. Oh, I can, I can certainly try. Uh, do you have a... Do you have a dummy? <laughs> I oh, don't close right there. Hmm. I feel like we can do something interesting with this. Perhaps we can use this later on. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, what's going on? Where are we headed? This doesn't um, look like the island. Oh, no. no, we left that island a long time ago. I think we're meeting up with some... Uh, we're back uh, in Orvada. We're going to meet up with that other merchant and scholar person. See about getting a submersible to uh, check out an underwater place. Right. Okay, well, let's get going. Glad to be back in the land of the living, so to speak. Glad to not have to carry your heavy ass. <laughs> Listen, Could sometimes be... you were like really light and sometimes you were really heavy. Could be worse. You could have had to carry yourself. No, you probably just would have left me for dead. I wouldn't. Kassar, you can't carry me. I can, the turret can carry. You may think otherwise, but I would not leave you for dead. I'll believe that when I see it. Well, you wouldn't. You'd be unconscious. You couldn't see it. You know what? I don't need... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're gonna be smarter than me, but that doesn't mean that I can't kill you. <laughs> With this thumb! <laughs> thumb <of justice. laughs> Let's just go find this dude and go under the water. Let's do that. We've been uh, on quite the side quest for quite a while. <clears throat> Alright! You can head back to the... Um hotel uh that you were staying at the um give me a second because it was the, the red hat the red hat because it was next down next to the yeah. outrageous yeah yes. yes um and you can meet with nim who's like ah oh, friends how good it is to see you again been quite a while um how did your adventures go really I... weird oh my god well my we head... almost died as oh. usual it's quite the we have quite the pension for that Ooh, to be uh, fair, we had gone like a month and a half without almost dying. That's because we were on a ship. Yeah. But we also have a bad track record on ship. So it was pretty good. Uh, great to hear it. Uh, well, um, I was uh, going to... You're, you're right on time. Tomorrow should be when I'm going to go meet with... Uh, um, our good friend, uh, I'm, or my good friend, I should say. You know, the one that, uh, will help us out. You forgot his name, didn't you? Uh, no. Irun. Irun. Yes. <laughs> thought I said that. <laughs> but anyway, well, um, come, come, why don't we have a meal? Let's go over to the uh, to the outrageous hat. We'll celebrate a little bit. How's that sound? I can only play. Sounds fun. <laughs> All right, you can have a enjoyable celebration in the evening. Kind of uh, feeling good about uh, uh, everything that's happened. And uh, why don't we go to our break here as you enjoy your time at the Outrageous Hat, and I can uh, tell Joe a little bit about the things that he can uh, unlock. Um, yeah. So if you need a drink, snack, or bathroom break, go ahead and do that, and we'll be back in a little bit. So see you in a bit, folks. <laughs> 